Hello, Chip GT here, and in this episode of VPIN Software Tweaks, I'm going to show you Mode 2 of Alt Sound, which is where you use the Pin Sound software to get some truly unique audio into your pinball machine so that we can have audio that goes from sounding like this. Welcome, on it, guest. Have a nice swim. <gasps> Is sounding like this. Welcome, on it, guest. <gasps> Go, man. So, without any further delay, let's coin in and push that start button. Go, man. Have you ever been looking on the Pinball Spreadsheet website and noticed a uh, very odd alt audio extension here? And then you come down here and you see a whole bunch of other different things here and you're not quite sure how this works? Or have you ever seen a YouTube video where people are online and they're playing a an alt audio sound file that you can't seem to find on the VPN Universe webpage? If so, then this video will help you get everything that you need up and running for pin sound and getting pin sound working with popper so that it open and closes as you open and close popper. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this on my experimental system number one. This is the setup that I use to test everything out prior to sending it over to my pinball cabinet. With pin sound, there is a little bit of a plus and a minus to them. The minus side of pin sound is it requires you to have a whole extra application running in the background while you're running your pinball tables and it's using wave files which are much much larger than using your alt sound mode one files those are normally mp3s or mp4s and they're much much smaller uh, in size so this will take up some real estate on your hard drive however there's only a handful of tables that actually use alt sound mode two for for this reason a lot of people in the community prefer alt mode one and uh, with that you'd have to actually have to find a, uh, a library pack but before I go into this I just want to say when you have alt mode 0 selected it's playing off of your ROM when you have alt mode 1 you're playing it off of the pin main folder in your alt sound folder in pin mode 2 pin mode 2 sets up a communication between pin sound and VPX and pin sound will allow you to control all the aspects of the files that you want to use in conjunction with the game and you can actually control every single sound effect and turn it up turn it down and and change it you can put in your own effects you can create your own files and everything in this video I'm going to show you where you can find all the files for yourself online and I will walk you through the whole setup process and provide you with all the links in the description as per the usual but something new that I'm doing I now have a Mega Drive and I have made a all-in-one installer that is as, as painless as possible without you having to go to a whole bunch of different places and create a whole bunch of different accounts I've kind of done all the hard work for you and put it all into one simple drag and drop file you're just gonna unzip it actually you're gonna right click properties make sure it's unblocked first then you're gonna open it up and just like this folder says, you're going to copy all the contents of inside of it into your VPIN folder, which is right here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it right in there. And I'll probably get some a notice saying, hey, do you want to overwrite some of these files? I'm going to click yes. That's because I already have all these files. So you may not have some of these. Some of these you may have, especially if you have the VR room Adams family. Um, and all this file does, I'll just kind of quickly go over it. Um, and this will include everything that you would need for pin sound. It will also have the Adams family example that I'm using. And that is the VR room, March, 2023 version, the L4 or sorry, the L7 ROM set, the version 2.3 of the colorized DMD and version 1.1.0 of the TV show Putt Pack. And then some artwork that I use for Popper. Future Chip GT here. 
And you're still gonna need to map the audio packages, so skip to minute marker 755. But if you wanna know where I found some of these files and, and understand how you would use them, then I suggest watching the whole video in its entirety. And now I think we're ready to get started. So the first thing that we're gonna install is going to actually be the Pinsound software version 18.8.3. You can find this in the VP forums. I've given you the link straight to the Dropbox file and you're gonna copy all this, like you're gonna have to create a Dropbox account if you don't have one, sign in, and then download the whole Dropbox file. Okay, so now that we have that opened up, I went ahead and I just created a Pin Sound Studio folder right here in my Visual Pinball folder. So it's right here. And you're going to copy everything that's in here and just export it or you can just select it all and you're just gonna copy, drag and drop it over. I'm gonna replace all the files. I've already done this before. There we go. And now you have the application and everything running. But before we get this application fully going, we actually need to go and download that alternate audio file. So here's the files on the Pinsound webpage and uh, a bunch of different people have created some custom files and you can see the history of them. And um, what I ended up doing is I liked having the original callouts, but I also liked having the movie soundtrack. If I can get those, that's what I, that's what I prefer just because it, it sounds better to me. If you don't want that, then you know, if you've got this one and it has the OST, the original voices and a little bit of a remix, this one is pretty popular online, but uh, I'm going with the movie soundtrack pack and you just you'll have to create an account here it's it's fairly easy i'm just going to sign in real quick and then you're just going to click the download and this is going to download in a zipped format and that's that's what we want we want it to stay zipped so now that we have that downloaded we're going to right click properties unblock it if you haven't already and then inside the vpin folder where we have the pin sound studio we're going to create a new file and i'm just going to call this alt mode to backups all right this is where i'm going to put this zip file so we're going to keep everything zipped and just throw it into this alt mode to backups folder all right now that that's there, we're gonna go into Pinsound and I'm gonna to switch to a little bit different field of view, I think. So here's Pinsound and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to install. So what we just downloaded was, it's called a package. So we're going to install this package by clicking on browse and then we're going to go to our c drive v pinball pin sound studio alt mode 2 backup there's our zip and then it's going to come down here and it's going to extract the package and it's it'll do a little bit of conversion of the the package for us and then we're not going to do anything else in this tab we're going to go over here to the visual pinball tab and you see there's our sound package and now it's asking us what rom do we want to associate with this so we know that the Adams family is running the L7 ROM. So I'm just looking for the Adams family, which is TAF, and they have the 1.5. So I'll come over here and click it, but see it's 1.5, we need 1.7. All I'm gonna do is change the five to a seven and click save. Okay, so now that is completely set up and we have the connection. now. Pinsound is now waiting to hear from Visual Pinball saying, hey, I've got Pinsound Mode 2 up and operational. Does this game work with this, this layout? Now, if you do have a table that you accidentally set to Alt Sound Mode 2, VPX is probably gonna crash or it won't load for you because that tells VPX I'm trying to communicate with Pinsound. And Pinsound will say, hey, I don't have I don't have a table with that ROM number if you haven't mapped it appropriately. So this is how we map the ROM. So this is actually listening for a ROM to be called out so that it loads this audio pack. So now before I load up the Adams family, I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna close this for now. 
So we'll just close it. And I'm gonna open up the pinup. configuration tool. We're gonna to go over to popper setup. We're gonna to go to global config, and then I'm gonna to go to the startup tab. And in here, there is a script that we need to run in order to start Pinsound Studio, and then another script to close Pinball Studio when we in open and exit popper. All right, so this is gonna be always running in the background as long as you have popper open. And I'm gonna show you the script real quick. Hey, Future Chip GT here, and I'm letting you guys know that I also have the script in the zip file for you guys. All you have to do if you want to open it and copy and paste it, you can do it there. I've also put it down in the description, so all you have to do is copy and paste it there. It makes it super simple for you. This is a little bit better view for you. So once you have Popper open and ready to go, all you're going to do is copy this code right here, and you're going to paste it into your global configs right here. And this is really important that if you did not put the Pin Sound Studio software in the same folder that I did, you're gonna have to actually copy where you have, where you actually saved it. And you're gonna copy this whole thing right here, just like this, and throw it right up here into your start script. And then down here, you don't have to worry about where it's located because we're simply saying kill the task when you're done. And then we're gonna save it. Whenever I open up Popper, it's going to launch. So I'll show you that real quick. So we'll go ahead and launch it. I'm gonna switch to my full view so you can see this. So now I'm going to launch the front end. That white screen is pin sound. There we go, we'll shut this up real quick. And then I went ahead and I already loaded it in here, but I'm, I just want to show you that pin sound is running. So if I do alt tab, I can see that pin sound is currently running in the background on my full screen right there. So I know that it's working. I know that it's up. All right. Now, there you go. I'm going to switch back to the pinup player. There we go. And I'm just going to exit, quit and quit for now. I know that that link now works, but before I do that, the version of Adam's Family, most, most Adam's Family tables, they come with a series of options that you need to set. If you downloaded my all-in-one file, I've already kind of pre-configured mine. If you want to go ahead and download your own version of the VR room, all you're going to do, and I just came in here and just searched for Adam's. There it is. And then there's the VR room right here and I'll just re-download it. There we go. Same thing as always, right click, properties, unblock. Open it up. And I'll minimize that, minimize that. And then uh, we're gonna go to vPinball. vPinball again, there's my tables. Just copy, drag and drop it right in, replace. There we go. So there it is. I've, I've given you guys the B2S file and everything else. If you download through my link, if you want to get it yourself or you don't like the one I have, just go to the website and download it yourself. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to load VPX8. And I'll scroll down. Oops, up. I've got it backwards. I'm going to load the Adams Family. And as that loads, I'm gonna switch over to my main view so you can see it. I'll just tuck this out of the way for now. Sorry, you're gonna see a little bit of OBS going on in the background. I'll just minimize it so you don't have to worry about it. There we go, I got some credits in there. And that's what the original table sounds like, all right? So we're going to push F1. We're gonna go up here to alt sound when we're not gonna push number one, we're gonna push number two, okay? Three is also used for pin sound, but that's more for like developers and that's more for the actual pin sound designers. Um, don't worry with three, just hit two. You're gonna click okay and we're gonna have to restart, so I'll close it. So now we'll reload Adam's family and launch it. And you'll notice that all the regular table callouts and noises still are the same. But 
But now when I load the table and push start, I get the music from the movie. It's a little bit, a little bit better, a little more fun. Yeah, I just prefer playing tables like this. It just, to me, I like the music being incorporated from the movie. It just sounds so much cooler. And then we close it, it closes it all down. Now, I don't really like the TV show Pup Pack, so if you downloaded my files and you don't want the TV show Pup Pack, just delete it. That's easy, it's as easy as that. You'll just go to the VPIN folder, pin up system, then you'll go to Pup Videos and scroll down to the Adams Family, the Adams Family L7, and you just delete it, just like that. Now the pup pack won't even run. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you learned something from this video, please give me a like, please subscribe, share this out with your friends to help the channel continue to grow. And uh, the next couple videos, we're gonna be focusing on getting the machine ready to go. I'm still kind of deciding whether or not I wanna load VPX8 to it, even though I've kind of been running it and practicing with it on the experimental system. I'm not sure if I want to throw it on there just quite yet, but um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to have enough time the rest of this month to just get that ready to go, maybe get VPX at version 8 on there, and uh, have some fun at Pincinnati. So if you guys plan on coming to Pincinnati, please let me know, and uh, you'll see me at my little, my little station that we're going to have set up for me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.